There has been a lot of discussions about whether GigaPress can save campus footprint or not. It is a quite interesting question, and it's quite easy to figure out. Elon did say the GigaPress reduced the body shop by 30%. However, GigaPress itself or the die casting shop takes some space. So which one is bigger? And that is the question. This is the campus map of Shanghai Gigafactory. This building is Model 3 production facility. And this building is Model Y production facility. And this building is the die casting shop with three gigapress machines inside and working for the Model Y. We know from Tesla's published data, Shanghai Gigafactory has 450,000 capacity now. 250,000 belong to Model 3 and 200,000 belong to Model Y. And three gigapress machines serve Model Y production, which is 200,000. Let's be generous. Assume three gigapress machine match same amount, 250,000 uh, annual capacity like Model 3. So we want to know how big is the body shop for 250,000 capacity without supporting of gigapress. So this is the one, Model 3 production facility. It has 250,000 capacity. It has no gigapress support. And this part is the body shop of the Model 3. To be precise, we measure the shape of the building from a satellite image. This image is generated by BrandDude87. That's his Twitter account. We draw the rectangular here, representing the body shop of Model 3. And this is the die casting shop. I match the shape here to the floor plan of the Model 3 facility. It's matched perfectly. Now I put them together. This is the body shop of Model 3, and this is the 30% of the body shop. And this one is the die casting shop. And this is the overlay of them. So we can see that the die casting shop actually is bigger than 30% of the body shop. Share a bit detail. This image is from a one environmental report of Tesla. And it is in Chinese, but you can see two circles here. That's two X-ray inspection rooms. So you can see that it's not only just three gigapress machines. They are supporting equipments, for example, the examination equipment like this, to make it work. That's why the gigapress machine, together with other equipments, the form the die casting workshop occupied quite a bit of space. This is a quick summary. So if three gigapress machines work for 250,000 capacity, like, we, like the assumption we made, the, cup, the die casting shop take more on-campus land than what it saved in the body shop. So here's some details. The 70 parts includes stamped steel parts, smaller die cast aluminum parts, extruded aluminum parts. So most of these parts may be produced off campus by other vendors because they are smaller parts, not necessary to be produced on campus. So those off campus space will be saved. However, that means those vendors lost their orders. So they may not be very happy with that. If the three gigapress machine are for higher capacity, let's say 400,000 uh, capacity, then in this way, we can say that the casting shop will save some on-campus land by calculation. But overall, the saving on land is not a major advance, advantage of gigapress, at least in Shanghai case. Here is a summary of the cost saving. Gigapress eliminates the procurement cost and the manufacturer cost for the 70 parts because they're not existing anymore. The GigaPress also reduces the logistic cost and management cost for 70 parts because there's only one part now. The quality control QC cost on 70 parts and also the final assembled part is reduced to only one action, which is the X-ray inspection on the casted part. So it's it reduced the cost on the equipment and the manpower. GigaPress also reduced the investment and running cost of the body shop. This has been discussed in the one video called GigaPress Economics. And last one, GigaPress also reduced the cost and also turnaround time for product updates. It's 
pretty much only need to update the mode. In the end, it's quite difficult to quantify those cost reduction by numbers without internal data. Gigapress improved the product quality. So it's produced antibodies with better consistency and better stiffness compared to the previous model or previous product. You can see there are large gaps everywhere in the previous product. Thank you for watching and welcome to subscribe.